Hey guys, uh, this is Ali and uh, welcome I guess to another After Effects Tips and Tricks. Um, a lot of you guys asked me how I created uh, electricity effect for my last uh, last project I uploaded. Um, I think two days ago. And a lot of you guys was wondering how I made this. So let me show you how I made it. Alright, so I'm gonna use uh, uh, a render or a footage of uh, a smoke and uh, Let's see how we can, you know, manipulate it. So I'm gonna create a new comp first. Uh, HD, you know, if you want to, that's really up to you. And I'm gonna drag my footage to my timeline, and here I have my, uh, I guess, uh, smoke. If I play this for you, let's let me resize my time somewhere around here. So let's do a RAM preview. So this is how it looks like, the original look. And again, I used it just because of uh, the motion of the smoke. All right, so let's select our footage and let's go to Effect and Color Correction, Curve, and let's make it brighter somewhere. Somewhere around here will be good. Again, Effect and this time Stylize and Glow and change the color glow to A and B. Take the radius to zero and the threshold all the way, <coughs> sorry, all the way around uh, 30 or maybe 40. Take a look at the animation. I think 40 looks fine. Maybe 35. Yeah, 35 looks awesome. All right, looks good. And a fact again, color correction, and add curve. This time, take the colors down somewhere around here. And I think I'm gonna go back to the curve, uh, to the glow. Sorry. Have a play with the threshold. Maybe took it to 48. All right. Looks awesome. And now let's go and add uh, a fact. And this time uh, we need distort and we need the uh, turbulence to place. All right, let's change it to turbulence smooth, uh, smoother, I guess, and change the antalizing quality to high. Take the amount to 222. And this is based ab about uh, around a lot of playing around with this value, you know. So <laughs> I hope that makes sense. All right, and change the size to two, and I guess this will be fine for the first look. I'll go back to the glow. Take it to forty-seven. Yeah, forty-seven looks fine also all right looks awesome now we can add uh, a fact and blur and sharpen and let's add uh, CC vector blur change the amount to five or you know have a place here whatever fits your taste um, maybe I'll take it to 4.5 Four, all right. Four looks good. Now we can go back to effect and color correction, tint, and here you can change the color if you want to to whatever fit your taste. I'll go with this one. Again, effect, stylize and glow. Keep the same colors. Take the threshold down somewhere around. 25. Let's take a look. Yeah, 25 looks just, I guess, too much. Right, let's take a look at this one. 30. Yeah, 30 looks fine. All right, let's uh, preview this animation. Uh, all right, looks good.
All right, looks awesome. So here's the first one, I guess our first look. And now all we have to do is just uh, duplicate our footage. So Control D, and let's go to the turbulence and change the size to, for example, 31. And if we move our footage now, say somewhere around here, and we hit play. So let's do RAM preview, I guess. We get this nice uh, electricity motion, I guess. There we go. Maybe I'll take the size to 30, maybe. All right, 30 looks awesome. All right, so this is how I created the pack. Uh, hope you guys uh, liked it. And again, if you you can, you know, always have a play with the turbulence and the glow, you know, to get your own look, I guess, or your own uh, electricity look. I guess. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.